Welcome back, guys. And our little, little kind of first impressions and little review here. What I have here is, uh, some of you might already know what they are, but uh, these are the tree hopper steps. I got them for what I'm gonna use for is my ring of step, as a ring of steps around the tree for saddle hunting. But as you can see, they're, these things are, they're beefed up. They're thick. I forget what they said they was taking to break these things. Way more than any, any human's gonna put on. But uh, as you can see, they're they got a little bit of an angle. So when they're flat on the tree, there's there's going to be a little bit of an angle where your foot's at. But I've had I've tried them on a the tree cert well, a few times, and they're not it's not bad at all. I mean, it's actually really comfortable. Your foot will not slip off of that. I mean, you can see how aggressive that is. Your foot's not going to slip off of that. And what he's done, he's got the he's put it some back here on the back side of them. He's got these little notches too, little grooves. So it kind of, when it does slip down, you know, because most of the time they will move down just a little bit on the tree when you first stand on them. Just And that's the best thing to do is once you strap these up, at least with these OCB buckles, is kind of just walk around there and push them down. Make sure they're down, you know, all the way. But that there kind of digs in the tree and gives it a little bit of, so it don't move around on you. Then he's got these two ears here. As you can see, these wings that stick out. And that, what that does, that keeps the step from, you know, shifting left to right on you as you're stepping on it. So you can keep a lot, you can put a ton of side pressure. And you can put your foot just right here and put all your pressure right here on the side of the step. And it's not going to kick around. I mean, I like I said, y'all heard me say before, I'm a bigger guy. And these things just, they don't move on you. They don't move at all. But, uh, I'll take them out here and put them on a tree and, uh, show you how they do. How tight they get. Like I said, I got the OCB buckle right now. I got the the heavy duty over center buckle. For us bigger boys. I got it kind of taped up a little bit right now with some uh, steel strips. And I also got the, the other end steel stripped up here. And what's pretty neat about these is, if you see right here, it's got a little, a little lock pin right here. So when you hook this together, it won't come undone. You just pop it right there. Yeah. Just pop it in. It's hard to do one-handed. And it, it's not going to come out of there. It can't come out. So once you mount that to the tree, and you just kind of snug it up so you can, you know, you put it around the tree so you can kind of snug it up to get your steps, your steps uh, set around the tree the way you want them. It's not going to just, you know, Turn like that and just fall off. It's gonna stay on there, so it ain't gonna come clear off the tree. And then once you put that on there and you draw this this buckle down, you draw this thing down and you cam that thing over. Man, that thing is tight. It's actually a little bit hard to draw that to cam that over. I mean, you, that's how tight you can get it. It takes it takes a good bit just to get it, you know, cammed all the way over. But them things do get tight. But like I said, I'll take you out to the tree and. Put them on the tree and show you how they go. And one more thing for I forget. If you'll notice here on these wings on this step here, if you'll notice this side right here is actually a little bit thicker than this side right here. And the reason for that is these steps. I'll try to do this one handed. Using my phone, I don't have my my GoPro's dead. So, but the reason for that is. As these steps go together just like that and they'll stay together i'll just put two of them together for now but they go together and they stay together and the reason the one's narrow this side is narrower than this the other side is because so you can leave, put them together with the strap in them when he first made them i think from what i've seen uh, another guy do a review on them there or talked about them it was the same thickness and you couldn't leave the strap in them and connect them together like that you had to take the strap out to connect them together so he changed that and that's a that's a good modification he made to that so you can so you can just put all these together and when I mean, they go together kind of kind of tight but once they're together they don't go nowhere i mean you know like i said i'm one-handed here so it's a little harder to do but they don't they stay together 
they don't go nowhere. And then you just stack them up. Matter of fact, let me just stack them up here and I'll, uh, I'll show you here. All right, here we go. Now I got them all stacked together and that's, you can see there, it's, that's how they go together right there. I mean, I ain't got them pushed. I mean, you could force them together more than that, but they're not going to come apart. And then I just strap them right onto my back of my backpack on them in between these wings right here on my pack. And they stay right there. They're lightweight. I weighed them on the scales. These five steps and this OC, heavy duty OCB buckle, they weigh two pounds even. Basically two pounds even. I think they're they're like a, maybe a half an ounce over two pounds. So just say two pounds. Uh, you know, that's pretty light to be able to for a ring of steps to get all the way around the tree. That's I mean they're actually they're pretty wide. Let me get my tape here. So I mean you get a good bit of foot you know, foot room on them, they're, they're all but an inch, let me get one down here where I can see, they're all but an inch and a half wide, so we'll just call it an inch and a half, but they're all but an inch and a half wide, and, and, uh, so you get plenty of foot room there, they, and, uh, they're that way, and they're, let me get my tape back here, and they are from, this part back here out to the end they are three and a quarter inches so you got three and a quarter inches by inch and a half worth of foot room there and i tell you once you you get these set up around the tree a lot more comfortable than what what you think i mean when i first started saddle hunting I've seen people talking about ring of steps you ring of steps oh, they ain't no way they're crazy no way that's comfortable and I've been wanting to go lighter and lighter and com com more compact is the, the lightest, most compact way that I can go. And I can get, I mean, I can deal with a little extra weight as long as it's really compact. And uh, so the more compact, the better for me. But this here met my, my priorities. It's light and compact. It fits right on my pack. Like I said, two pounds. So with this, my climbing method that I showed you on my other video is five pounds. And my saddle with my ropes is two pounds. So that's, let's see, it's five, seven, it's nine pounds. I'm completely set up and ready to hunt. With, and all I got to carry in the woods, nine pounds of weight. That's it. I got these tree hopper steps set up, ring of steps set up. Uh, let me show you how tight they are and how much how easy it is to walk around the tree with them i mean this is a smaller tree but at height it's probably about the size tree normally i'd hunt at height down here but uh i'll get up here and show you what's going on here the reason why i like them so well all right guys hopefully you can see me here but uh if you can hopefully you can see them steps i mean I'm putting all my weight on them steps right there. I'm gonna come over full force. And that, th that thing does not go nowhere. And I'm a big guy, like I said. That thing doesn't go nowhere. Them little ears on the side of that thing just keeps them steps from twisting around on you or anything. But the reason I like the ring of steps is, hopefully you can see me here for this purpose is, I'm sitting here and I'm expecting the deer to come from you know, behind the tree to me right now coming straight at me but I happen to notice movement over here to my right I can just easily just step these steps I can just easily just swing right around the tree and put this tree between me and the deer coming and if I'm sitting here like normal and I got the deer coming straight at me but he's instead of coming on my strong side he's gonna swing around to my weak side Instead of having to do any of this of reaching over the rope or going under the rope or twisting around, as that deer's walking up to my weak side, I just ease my way right around the tree just real slow as he's walking, keeping the tree between me and him. And once he gets around here, once he gets around there, then my weak side, what was normally my weak side, is now my strong side. So I can just swing right around here and take that shot. Just as steady as if I was standing on a regular platform or anything else. 
So you really don't, with a ring of steps, you really don't have no weak side shot, in my opinion. I mean, you can, if your weak side shots, you know, if you're right-handed like I am, your strong side's your left side, your weak side will be your right side. But all you gotta do is just ease right around the tree. And now your, what was your weak side is your strong side. So you really don't have no weak side shot with a ring of steps. And I know they might not look comfortable, but I'll tell you, you get them spaced right. And you get set up in your saddle, you get comfortable. They're just as safe as, or just as sturdy as, and comfortable as any other thing out there. I mean, one thing I like about it, you got your feet, is actually, I keep mine, I keep one in the center here. So this tree's a little awkward, so I ain't got them exactly set up right down there, but I keep one in the center, two on the sides, and then two on the round. And I keep my feet, and it's actually on both sides of the tree, so my feet ain't up tight together. They're kind of surrounding the tree, and I want to sit down. I just sit right down, right up again the tree with my legs on the outside of the tree. I can just sit right here all day. Just as comfortable as can be. But that's the tree hopper ring of steps right there. If you're interested in trying out a ring of steps, I'd suggest the, these tree hopper ones. So like I said, you got they're good, they're an inch and a half wide but three inches long, so you got plenty of boot room. I wear a ten and a half boot. But even a person with a bigger boot, you got plenty of room. They're comfortable. So uh, if that's what you're looking into is a ring of steps, I'd definitely give these tree hoppers a, a go. I think you get five of them for, I think they're $65 or $60 for five. They don't come with the straps, so you got to order the straps separate. But there you go. That's a tree hopper ring of steps. Like I said, you can swing all the way around the tree. I got my tether a little short right now, but if you lengthen your tether a little bit higher up, you can grab all butt walk all the way back around to where you was to start with. I definitely gonna be what I'm using this year. I mean, I've never, I haven't hunted out of them before. I fooled with them here in the yard and took them up the woods and just sat around for a while with them. And so far, they seem really comfortable. I mean, they're just as comfortable as any anything else I've used. I mean, after I use them this season, this whole season, I'll update you on them a little more, but just figured I'd bring them out here on the tree and show you how they work. It's easy to get if you're cutting here just like I was saying earlier. You got a deer coming in straight from behind you. It's easy just to ease around the tree right there in one move and boom. You can shoot straight behind you with just one simple move right around the tree. No problem. Thanks y'all for watching and uh if you would hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to, if you like what we're doing. If you want there anything you want to see, let us know. Maybe we can work something out. We can show it to you or whatever. But uh, we're gonna try to get a lot more videos out this year. Again, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.